when you invoke the blood what happens is you disappear in the spirit from that scene and jesus is the one who stands there now when jesus stands there satan says it's not you i'm talking to this is the person i'm talking to but he now says the person has invited me i gave him authorization to invite me what then is your accusation against me and he remembers that there is no accusation that he could bring before jesus remember when jesus stood before pontius pilate it was an adumbration of man they tried to bring accusations but nothing could stand join apostle joshua salmon in a life-changing sermon that explores the depths of god's love and wisdom discover practical insights for victorious living and a closer walk with the divine don't miss this opportunity to elevate your spiritual journey and experience the extraordinary stay tuned let me teach you something about blood leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11 for the life of the flesh is in the blood what is in blood life say life what when you hold your atm what is in your atm you see that now there is something that is captured in your atm are we together now yes the blood of anything carries the life of that thing not just the blood of jesus the blood of a goat is where the life of a goat flows the blood of a human is where his human life flows there is a relationship between blood and life blood represents life write it down please blood represents life this is the first quick information i want you to know about blood and this life is in levels this life that is in the blood is in levels now the second thing i want you to know about blood from scripture blood has always been used as a ransom write the word ransom very powerful word ran some r a n s o m you know what a ransom is look up a ransom is the payment you make to release someone in captivity when they kidnap someone unfortunately like we have around our region the terrorists or kidnappers for whatever reason they demand a ransom that money that purchasing power that you bring to give them then they release the captive is found in blood so blood is currency in the realm of the spirit the same way naira and cobo and dollars and pounds are in the physical realm naira is actually an instrument of settlement and purchase in the realm of the spirit that you can use blood like you use money to buy things is called redemption when you redeem a thing you buy it back number one when you redeem a thing to redeem means to compensate for a default the idea of redemption talks of compensation a system of compensation for a default to redeem also means to regain possession to regain possession so blood has the purchasing power blood has the power of appeasal it can bring to an end contentions why am i teaching you about the blood before we take the communion proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2 is a very powerful and profound spiritual law please look up and read it as loud as you can ready one to go as the bird by wandering a swallow so a cause causeless shall not stand do you know what this means that means anytime a cause 
anytime any kind of demonic thing comes if there is no legal basis it will not work so the fact that it works it means that there is a cause because a curse causeless shall not stand now hear me as powerful as the name of Jesus is when it has to do with dealing with matters of legalities in the spirit listen very carefully it is true that the word of God is powerful it is true that the name is powerful but there is a legal system in the realm of the spirit I told you here that ransom means the payment to bring a pizza because of a default when man fell we willingly gave our authority we willingly gave our lives we willingly submitted ourselves to the influence of satan he became the god of this world even the prince of the power of the air the spirit that now walks in the sons of disobedience now i have taught you in, in the, the previous series that many of these our precious forefathers and many of in ignorance many of them legitimately invited satan and through medium and priests and whatever it is they entered covenants seeking assistance from the realm of the spirit knowing that a body without a spirit is dead because they did not know the one true god satan masquerading as god came and deceived them and most of them willingly handed over i hope you know i taught you last week the blood in you now i hope you know that your blood is older than you except you don't believe biology because it was because of that blood that you came the blood was already there for you to have arrived is that true without that blood you would not be born by one man's sin and then through the means of reproduction by blood the sin nature continued to multiply and you know that the blood from a child medical doctors teach us that it comes from the man that was why God did not allow any man play the fatherly role of Jesus the Holy Ghost himself there was no problem having an earthly woman since the blood comes from man if a man participated in the birth of Jesus he would be born as sin immediately he would not even need any communion because he's already sin so he came as the sinless one are we together now that is the qualification that the kind of appeasal that the yokes and the causes and the covenants demand based on the legal system of heaven it will require blood that did not come from a human male and that is impossible based on the law of reproduction so the holy spirit came and played that fatherly role jesus came although with a human body but not blood from a mortal man understand this very carefully i'm building for you the case why the blood of jesus is so precious so that is God's blood is that true because <laughs> when Jesus Christ listen carefully I told you that blood has a measure of purchasing power when Jesus Christ gave his blood because his blood is a representation of his life when he gave that life he was sinless that means he was not deserving of judgment are we together now and watch the wisdom even though it was God that allowed Jesus to die but Jesus made sure that Satan played a role in his dying why because somebody is about to be blamed and when Satan was moving through men he was happy doing what he was doing to kill Jesus of course satan would not kill him. you know what i mean to participate in the flesh in crucifying him when you kill an innocent man listen carefully when you kill an innocent man according to the law of scripture the blood of that man starts crying and when it cries god will hear and whatever the blood says to do it will be done cain and abel 
is that true abel was dead but his blood cried now when satan did all that he did the blood of jesus started crying and instead of crying to say avenge me he says no as a reward for killing an innocent man release the one who is guilty you see now release the one who is guilty so every time satan stands before you and claims that it is true that your fathers worship idols and based on legal grounds you should not experience breakthrough you should experience barrenness you tell him you are right if i'm the only one who is going to fight this case but i have an advocate are we together now this is very powerful the blood of jesus is the legal system that breaks every hold every hold of covenants and ordinances that speak against the saints how does that happen by reminding satan that if it was just for the guiltless to become guilty then it is just for the guilty to become guiltless very simple equation you have to understand this about blood the blood of jesus speaks it speaks mercy for the saints it speaks release for the saints but it speaks judgment for satan and his cohorts and now watch this the blood of jesus is even an overpayment because whatever it is that gave the devil legal access every blood came by earthly stands whether animals or men but the blood of jesus was not of an earthly origin are we together now so there is no bill that that blood cannot pay are we together how many of you are trusting god for financial breakthrough okay drop your hands you are going to understand what i'm teaching you now if elon musk or bill gates gives you access to his resources question relative to what he has and relative to your bills will it become a concern again are we together probably what he will spend in a day is what summarizes your entire bills so that is an overpayment now when you hold that if anybody looks at you and say i remember you owed me five years will you run no what is there is sufficient you can even tell him i can i can bless you and still punish you and forgive you and bless you because of what i have now listen listen to me the blood of jesus is not just sufficient to pay for sin it is more than sufficient are we together now and then instead of speaking judgment to us it now speaks mercy and the blood of jesus is the basis for the ministry of mercy how do you apply the blood listen very carefully when satan who is the accuser of the brethren now comes as his culture is to accuse you of anything and then to make demands that on legal basis what was agreed by covenants of fathers and witchcraft should happen to you when you invoke the blood what happens is you disappear in the spirit from that scene and jesus is the one who stands there now when jesus stands there satan says it's not you i'm talking to this is the person i'm talking to but he now says the person has invited me i gave him authorization to invite me what then is your accusation against me and he remembers that there is no accusation that he could bring before jesus remember when jesus stood before pontius pilate it was an adumbration of man they tried to bring accusations but nothing could stand listen believers if you do not understand the power of the blood there cannot be redemption ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7 as we prepare to take the communion and pray the bible says we have redemption ephesians 1 7 we have redemption 
I told you what it means to redeem. To redeem means to buy back, to reclaim ownership. And that happened through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches, the wealth of his grace. So I can stand before that demon spirit and say it is true that based on the ordinances of the fathers, I deserve to live a defeated life. But I'm standing here, it is by the blood. And the moment I invoke the blood, the case is not about me again. The case is about Jesus. And the moment Jesus shows up, there is absolutely no accusation. As simple as what I'm saying is, Satan dreads your knowledge of this. Do you know why? Because you will be learning that the blood does not speak empty. There is a system of compliance to what the blood says. When the blood says you are not guilty, it does not stop there. There is a system that galvanizes all the forces in heaven to make sure that what the blood has said concerning you remains true over your life. The blood of Jesus is powerful. This is what I found. When I found this, I ran and I stood. I say you may have legal access. I don't even know who my forefathers are. I don't know what they worshipped. I only had they worship idols. They worshipped all kinds of things. But now I have come. And I come by the blood. I come by the blood. I come by the blood. When Satan looks for me, he does not find me. But he will find Jesus there. And Jesus will ask him, what are you looking for? And he says, I'm looking for a young man connected to a lineage that should authorize failure. And he says, he's no more here. That person died. Didn't you see him? I have been crucified with Christ. Listen. Can I tell you this? The blood is proof that Jesus died. Is that true? And when he died, it was the appeasal. Because remember, the last enemy to be destroyed is death. That means ultimately, Satan wants to get that dominion, but his primary assignment is after getting every other thing, he kills you. The blood proves that Jesus died, but the blood proves that you died too. Do you know what that means? When Satan comes to accuse you and you bring the blood, that means the blood says this case has been judged already. Why are you revisiting a case that has been judged? The criminal who offended you has actually died. But it's just that you are not the one who died. The person who died gave you the blood as evidence to say the price has been paid. Listen, if you owe somebody and the person says you owe me one million and I carry my one million and give you and you give the person, did you pay for it? Yes. It may not be your money, but as far as payment is done, if the person comes to accuse you and says it is not your money, I know you don't have money. It is my responsibility to now defend you. Who gave you the money is not the issue. Payment was made. This is the receipt. So the blood is proof that somebody died. And hear me, hear me. Every time you see death and blood, it proves that it was not a normal blood, a normal death. He was killed. People in intelligence come and when they investigate and they see dead body, the moment they see blood is most likely murder. Someone killed him. A normal death will not easily bring blood out. The blood of Jesus is not just proof that he died, it's proof he was killed. The question is who killed him? Whoever killed him is the person who killed me too. And so there is a serious case of accusation here. I have been crucified with Christ. When he died, I died. When that price was paid in him and through his blood, this entire price was paid. Now Satan does not have any legitimate ground. Look, this thing is so simple, but it can keep you in bondage forever. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me as we conclude this enlightening sermon by apostle joshua selman let the depth of knowledge 
shared today be a catalyst of your ongoing educational journey. Apply the principles of wisdom, understanding, and divine insight in your pursuit of knowledge. Remember, ed education is not merely about information, but a transformation of the mind and spirit. Carry the touch of learning into your studies, professions, and daily life. May you continually grow in wisdom and impart your spheres of influence positively. Go forth, empowered to be a beacon of knowledge and light. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can be the first to get our video. God bless you. See you in the next.